Hello you YouTube, it's Emma Bloys 10 here again and this video is actually a kind of update on one I did a long time ago and it's called um, Popularity Yu-Gi-Oh! and this is version 2 since uh, recently I've had some people ask me you know, how do I become successful and popular on YouTube like you and everything and this is my video response to you guys and I hope you find it useful and I hope you enjoy. Um, in the description box below is going to be a link to the previous one I did if you want to have a quick gander at that but uh, I'm just going to do a quick like kind of recap update with this version and let's get started. So first off um, the first thing is, a lot of people say that I'm quite successful on the Yugi Tube and everything, but I'm not really. I'm, I'm being honest. I'm not successful or anything. I just do what I do because I enjoy it and everything, and I don't plan to become popular on Yugi or on the Yugi Tube community at all or anything. I just want to show you know that I enjoy the game. This is what I do. This is how I think in the game, and that's that. You know, it's it's nice that I've, you know I've gotten nearly over fourteen. Uh, 100 subscribers. I mean, that's pretty nice and everything. I never honestly thought I would get even that number. I never thought I'd get to a thousand, to be honest, but I did. And it was through just hard work and, um, you know, regular updates and everything, and just not being afraid to put my voice in that out there, really, um, on certain things. And to an extent, I suppose that's, um, that's an advice I can give to you right now is well, to start off, I, th I suppose I should actually start off with the beginning bit is you can't become popular overnight in the YouTube community. It just doesn't happen. There's no fairy godmother out there and that can wave a magic wand and certainly I cannot wave a magic wand and say that you're popular via this, you know. It just doesn't happen. Even just giving out a shout out or anything, it doesn't make you popular or anything, you know. You have to work hard at getting yourself noticed in the Yugi Tube community. Now the Yugi Tube community is small in comparison to the YouTube community but for those who can make an impact or make a difference or just make their voice be heard you know that's a great achievement. Um, as I said my first bit of advice is, is don't be afraid to put out what you think is right. Um, when I first started Yugi tubing and everything, I was really scared of putting out thoughts and opinions on certain things, and because I was scared I'd get shot down by you know haters and trolls and blah blah, or I'd just get ignored and not have my voice heard and everything. But nowadays, I'm not afraid to go and comment on big Yugi tubers' videos, um, you know what I think about certain topics and everything, or looking around on the, or looking around and posting comments here and there about things. Um, you know, that that's a good way to maybe start and get your confidence going is, you know, don't be afraid to comment on big YouTubers videos or just videos in, or just YouTube vid videos in general. Um, you know, that way people can take notice of you and say, oh right, she, he or she has a very interesting opinion, I'll just go and check them out. You know, and then they can, you know, chat with you or say their opinion back to you, etc, etc and everything. Just but be aware, you know, you can get sometimes get people who are a bit or or hate against it. So just be aware that does happen. It can happen and everything. So, you know, just expect it when you put out an honest opinion. It does happen, okay, because I've been through it. Um, the next thing is thinking that you can get a shout out a shout out for having no content on your channel. Um, or getting popular because you have no con hardly any content on your channel is definitely not a way to get popular on Yu-Gi-Oh. There's been a few times somebody has asked, oh hi, can I get a shout out on your channel? And then I go and have a look at their videos and they're like, they've only got a few deck videos, a thought video or something, or maybe even no videos at all. And it's like, yeah, why should I give you a shout out if you're not putting effort into your channel? You know, what's the point? I only give, sh I give shout outs, um, to people who really deserve that, people who've really worked on their channel and everything. Um, now, understandably, some people might not be able to update their channel as regularly as other people and everything, that's fair enough, but the content is also key. If you produce very good content, then people will like it and people will, well, may not like it as well, but most of the time, if you produce good content that is understandable, easy to access and everything, then a lot of people will warm up to it and like it and eventually subscribe to you or, you know, recommend you, you know, or give you shout outs, etc, etc. But I don't do shout outs for shout outs, definitely not. That's not my thing because 
just in my own personal opinion, it's just the way I've been taught to grow up in real life and everything is that you work for your earnings, you work for your respect, you know, you, it doesn't come to you like that. It's not a fairy godmother thing as I keep saying. You don't, it's not a magic wand where it, you weave over it and bam, within the space of a night you've got a million subscribers or something. It just doesn't happen, okay? You have to work really hard, you have to put your thoughts out there, you have to have good content on your channel. And speaking of good content, I don't mean just like just constant deck videos. You know, I mean, you have to put out thought videos of, n you know, um, new things that are affecting the game. Thought video on serious topics and all that. Um, duel videos as well. I mean, duel videos, you can have variants. You can have just live action duels, like Skype duels, DevPro duels, de uh, Duel Network duels. You know, have a variant of different duels, not just one type of duel. Um, just because, you know, some people can get bored of that very quickly, but then again, some people in the might only be able to do those kind of duels, and that's fair enough, you know, but if you can, just try and have different varieties of duels. That's another good way, because some people enjoy watching live duels, some people enjoy watching online duels. You know, everybody's different. Um, what else can I say as well? Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to think. I'm really sorry about this, guys. I've had a bit of a brain fart here. I did have something else I was going to mention, but I've forgotten. Oh, yes, that's it. Research as well. Yu-Gi-Oh! is an ever-changing game. It's always updating. It's always changing. And if you fall out of Yu-Gi-Oh!, it can be difficult to get back into it. And I've done a video on that as well. I'll link that down below for you guys who have been out the game for a long time but want to get back into it. Um, the key thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! is research and a lot of research. You need to know how to keep up with the meta, how the meta works and everything, and you know what cards are good to counter against it, what goods are most popular right now, um, what cards, decks and everything that are very popular and everything, and you need to keep your knowledge of rulings and that up to date as well because they change, not on a daily basis, but regularly, they change regularly, and you need to keep yourself updated and everything because if you've got the knowledge and confidence behind the card game, then you could, just in my opinion, you could pretty much do anything. And I know that sounds a bit cheesy, but I think it's true. Um, however, with all your knowledge and uh, research and your confidence and getting your voice heard out there and your thoughts out there and everything, it does take time. And I can't emphasize that enough. It will take time. I've been on YouTube since 2007 and it's now 2014. It's taken me seven years just to get 1,400 subscribers. But as I said, I am not really particularly caring about the number. I mean, I want to thank every single one of the 1,400 subscribers I've got for subbing to my channel. You know, I'm glad you enjoy my channel and I'm glad you like my content and everything. However, I'm not too naive to think that some probably have subscribed just because they think I'm a pretty face and everything. I mean, that's just... Something that happens when you're a girl duelist, you know, you you expect that, but, you know, some people will subscribe because they enjoy the content and everything, and that's pretty awesome, and I really, really do appreciate that, and I thank you for that and everything, but becoming popular in yu gi is a lot of hard work and everything, and you need to have at least a regular update schedule, you need to have good knowledge behind the game and constantly update your knowledge and research and everything, and have a variety of um, things on the channel, um, you know, not just like a few deck videos or co just constant deck videos and everything because that's not going to tell me anything about what you're like. And don't expect to get shout outs, you know, shout outs for shout outs. Some people will do them, but I don't personally. Um, you know, I like to check out somebody's channel and see what content they have and everything. And if the content's very good, then yeah, I'll probably give you a shout out. But if you haven't got very good content or anything, then I probably won't. You know, you have to make an effort in the YouTubing community in order to make yourself heard and everything. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> I'm sorry if I rambled on a bit there, guys. It's a bit of an update to, as I said, the popularity Yu Gi Oh! I did a couple of years ago, but um, I just hope it helps you guys, you know, of those who want to become a bit more successful in the YouTube community and everything. You know, I hope this advice really helps you. And if you're starting out, you know, I hope this helps you a wee bit as well, you know. You know, get in there, get your voice heard, get your content on your channel and everything. You know, don't be afraid to put out what you feel should be put out and everything, okay? Till then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps, as I said. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, okay? So take care, everybody. Bye!